Hello makers, today I will show you how to make this cool looking crystal. It changes color automatically and you don't need a microcontroller or any special skills to make it. All you need are simple tools and a 3D printer. I will leave all the info, part list and some upgrades on my instructable page. I hope you can follow me there and subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming videos. Now let's, go, let's start with the build. Go to Thingiverse and download a template that you find to your liking. I downloaded one and open it Cura to change some setting. Of course you will find the STL files on my instructable page, link in the description. I scaled down the model by changing the Z height, then I changed the print quality, the infill density and the plate temperature, that way I managed to decrease the print time drastically. Now open your 3D printer and start printing the parts. I started with the crystal, then I printed the base, and yes we print on glass, and the quality is decent. Enjoy the time lapse. And here's the final results. I used transparent filament for the crystal, and white for the base, and to tell you, it looks awesome. Now let's talk about the parts. You will need the crystal itself, the super glue, the battery support with two batteries, the base, the cutting tool to cut wires, some LEDs, the switch, soldering iron, something to wipe the soldering iron, and the sandpaper, and some aluminium sheets which I forgot to put here. Now we have to prepare the LED hole, so use a drill press or any other tool to make a hole. Use a 5mm drill bit or you can even use your hot soldering iron and poke a hole in the bottom of the crystal. Now you need to put your LED there and test it to see if the LED works properly or not and if the sufficient power is able to lit the whole crystal or not. I use a 3.3 power supply for that, but you can use a 5 volt power supply with 220 ohm resistor. Now use the 3M sandpaper and sand the base well. We want it to be very smooth to the touch, this will help you later if you want to paint it. Now apply some solder wire to the LED pins, this will help you solder the wire to them later. Now insert the LED in the hole, twist its pin, then solder the wire to them, and lock it in place with a bit of hot glue, don't overdo it. Now solder the switch to the one of the wire, fold the piece of aluminium we needed to make the connection between the, two, the two batteries, the, one, the minus of one will be connected to the plus of the other, just make sure you don't make it so thick. Now insert the folded aluminium piece in place, and use a bit of hot glue, just a tiny tiny bit is needed. Don't put too much hot glue, you won't leave a space for the battery. Now remove the metal spring of a 4AA battery holder. Try to be careful, or don't. Just don't cut yourself with the broken plastic. Now solder the metal spring and you're done. Insert 2AA batteries, the spring pressure will keep them in place. And now the moment of truth, flip the switch and admire your work. If you happen to be from Tunisia and you want me to make something similar for you, send me a message on my Facebook page and we can talk about it. I hope you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next project.